Hello everybody and welcome back to this week's sales and it's kind of slim pickings this week as we're just getting over Halloween and it's also bonfire night tonight so happy bonfire night I guess and so I've done my best to try and bring you the best I could find from the eShop store because a lot of actual sales are winding down now and next week should be a little bit more fruitful. And don't forget to watch until the end of the video because I have something a little bit special from Netflix which ties into a little bit of gaming. And this week I'm going to start with the bad before I get to the good. And basically Street Power Soccer is a broken game and maybe not even worth it at 2 69 but a lot of people are like saying I wouldn't buy it unless it's on sale. It's got a below average meta score and a lot of people are saying unless you're a diehard fan then just leave it alone. Next up we have Children of Mortar and this is one of my favourite roguelike games. It's got an amazing story which spans generations of a family all battling for the same goal. It has some great DLC, it looks pretty darn good, visuals and audios are just spot on. I simply can't say enough good things about this game, it's worth the full price let alone a discount. Next up I have Crypt of the Necromancer Nintendo Switch Edition. I do enjoy rhythm based games and this one is a little bit different. Crossing a rhythm based game with a dungeon crawler, which is quite interesting you have to admit. And yes I've just realised I called it Necromancer and not Necrodancer, it's just an obvious easy thing to do. Crypto the Necro Dancer actually took me a long time to get into. I didn't really get it at first, but after a while, and I mean a good while, it clicked and I started to enjoy the game. But I tell you, I almost put it down and never went back to it again. And that pretty well would have been a shame. I just didn't get what it was trying to do. But when it clicked, it clicked. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that felt that way. But then at an 80% discount, I don't think you're going to be too bothered-ish, even if you can't get into it. Resident Evil Zero. Now this is one I played originally a long long time ago and yeah I didn't think it was too bad. It's definitely a homage to the original Resident Evil 1, 2 and 3 type games and it's actually a really decent game. If I remember correctly it took a little bit of time to get used to the controls again and also it's very retro so if you're not into that sort of thing or you just like the modern day Resident Evils this probably won't be for you. For the rest of us, yeah, dip in, this one's a good one. Super Hot is definitely one of my favourite games of all time. It is a must buy if you have a VR unit, it is so good in VR. But even the flat version, it's kind of like a shooter puzzler where every time you move, time goes. Every time you stop and don't move, time stops. You can move slowly and time will move slowly. If you move quickly, time will move quickly. This game is definitely the closest I've ever got to actually feeling like Neo out of the Matrix. And again, I would say this is worth full price, let alone this discount price. Onimusha Warlord is one of my favourite franchises. I've played all the games and they go right back to PS2, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I know that they go way back, way, way back. I've enjoyed all of the series there. I don't think there was one bad game, not completely bad anyway. I mean, they did start to wane during the last ones. But this one is definitely a classic and well worth picking up. It's been remastered, I think graphically, sound-wise, and also the controls has been jiggered, so it brings it more to the modern day, I believe. And I think this is definitely well worth in anybody's collection, especially if you played the original ones, because I definitely think you'll enjoy this one, because it has been updated. And if you've never played an Onimosha game, then this is definitely where to start. Well, that's your lot. Once again, thanks for joining me. Leave a comment down below. It really does help the algorithm. Do stay safe out there, as I know that there are people still setting off fireworks and everything. My cat was definitely not best pleased last night when they were setting them all off, so do bear in mind that animals' hearings are a lot more sensitive than yours. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help with the algorithm. Please join us in the community Discord, because we're just like-minded people in there. And I'll see you on the next show. Because life is better when we game together.